It's time to review Crash Bandicoot 3 WHOPPED for the PlayStation. First of all, I'd like to mention that this is a requested review by Ryan Number One Gamer, so thank you, Ryan. Warped is the third game in the much beloved Crash Bandicoot series and was the last platforming installment to be developed by series creator Naughty Dog. While I did play a lot of the original Crash Bandicoot in Team Racing when I was a kid, I was never able to play Warped, so 14 years after release, how good is the game? Well, let's find out. Crash 3's story takes place shortly after the events of the second game, Cortex Strikes Back. The antagonist of the series, Dr. Neo Cortex, has once again been stuck to our titular marsupial, but the defeat has resurrected the great evil mask known as Uka Uka. Uka Uka apparently had some sort of deal with Cortex, and part of this involved getting the crystal seen in two, but since they were all destroyed now, their only choice is to travel back in time to collect their crystals from their original point in time with the newly introduced Dr. N trophy and his new time station. Wait, I just realized that was meant to be a reference to PlayStation. I, ju I just got that now! Good lord! <laughs> Fearing that the world is in great danger, Crash and his sister Koku are brought to the time station to collect the crystals before the doctors in Uka Uka do, and to defeat them in order to save the world and even time and space. Crash 3 Warped is a linear 3D platformer where the goal is to go from point A to point B and collect the crystal in each level. The X button jumps, squares spins, and circles slides while running, and ducks while standing still. Also, when you press circle in the air, you can do a body slam. In each level, there are five important items. Crystals, crates, wampa fruit, aku aku masks, and gems. Crystals are the main objective and can usually be found in the middle or near the end of each level. Crates can be smashed to gain the third item, wampa fruit, get a checkpoint or an aku aku mask, and more. Wampa fruit serves as the game's collectible item that's everywhere, and when you get 100 wampa fruit, you get an extra life. Aku aku masks serve as your hit points, meaning that if you get hit without an aku aku mask, you die. You can collect up to two masks, and when you get a third one, you briefly become invincible. And finally, gems can be earned by smashing every crate in the level, and in general they add up to the game's completion rate. In total, there are five worlds, each consisting of five levels from different periods of time. When you complete all five levels in a world, you get to face off against that world's boss, and if you defeat the said boss, you get a new ability for Crash to use in all of the levels of the game, and unlock the next world. When you visit previous levels, you can choose to do the time trial, where you get to the end of the level as fast as possible, and if you beat a certain time record, you earn a time trial relic as a reward. Also, the game isn't just about 3D linear platforming. Some levels involve dogfights, riding on adorable tiger cubs, seriously, that thing is cute, swimming underwater, racing on motorbikes, and more. While on the subject of these spin-off levels, let me say that most of my problems with the game concern some of these levels, particularly the underwater levels and the motorbike levels. Now, in general, I don't really mind underwater levels, but good friggin' god, the, the underwater levels in this game are an absolute bitch to go through. Maybe it's the slightly off responsiveness or the enemies, but I always hate going through these levels. Well, at, at the very least, they're not as bad as the motorbike levels, which are by far the worst part of the game. They are just so frigging annoying to play. I kept bumping into everything, there was a serious case of rubber banding, and I couldn't just restart the level if I lost. No, I had to go back to the hub world and go back into the level of again. Seriously, Naughty Dog. Couldn't you have just put in an instant restart option or something to dull the pain? I mean, I mean besides alcohol? As well as that, the regular Crash gameplay can get very frustrating at times due to certain enemies or obstacles being a large pain in the arse to get past, and I always, always end up dying just before a checkpoint, which is really freaking annoying. And the last level in the game where you have to follow the light the entire way through is a really, really freaking stupid level. Look, I don't care who made the game, it's just a really stupid level. Still, besides all that, I actually did enjoy Warped. The graphics are pretty good with a solid frame rate and nice cartoony feel to it, 
The music composed by Mutado Musica was very catchy and fun to listen to while playing through the levels. It actually fit them, to be honest. And while the platforming got frustrating at times, I definitely think that it's pretty good. It achieves that tight balance between being accessible for new slash terrible gamers while being challenging for the more experienced crowd, and it's really satisfying for me to smash up all the crates in the level. The boss fights were also fun, being really challenging and intense, which made beating them very satisfying. Not to mention the power-ups you earn from beating them are frigging awesome, especially the bazooka, which made several sections far less annoying as you just had to shoot the more annoying enemies so you could focus on clearing the section you're on without worrying about keep being killed by random enemies. Crash Bandicoot WHOOPED is a fun game with nice cartoony graphics, catchy enjoyable music, awesome power-ups, accessible yet challenging platforming, and intense satisfying boss battles. However, it's let down by some really annoying sections, an awful and boneheaded final level, and terrible underwater and motorbike levels. Overall, I give Crash Warped a rating of pretty good. But it's us on the tin, really. While nothing spectacular, it's still a fun game to play nonetheless.